is going on guys? My name is Joe Nazarino. I'm a military officer slash multi-class asset investor. I took the honor and privilege to be a part of this amazing community of empowering and energizing our Filipino youth as well as being a supporter and a factor in their journey towards success. I'm beyond excited to be a part of this team and I look forward to the exciting journey of motivation and future success of our Filipino youth. Hello everyone, this is Tita Billy from Sweden, founder of Change Coach Academy and author of the upcoming book, What Size Is Your Bra? I joined AYO Youth Empowerment because of you. I believe in you because you are worthy. You are the walking ambassador of yourself. You are the investment worth investing. You are the youth of today, the future leaders of tomorrow the change makers, the shakers and movers and innovators. Dream big, whatever it is, because we are here to help you. We are here to make that a reality. Believe, receive and achieve. Be bold, be brave, be beautiful. God bless. Hello and good day, ASEAN News. This is Patrick C. Pias, born and raised in the Philippines, currently stationed here in Belgium, and I am a non-commissioned officer serving in the United States Air Force. One thing I believe in is karma. Anything you do, good or bad, will eventually come back to you. It might not be the same thing that you did, but eventually, it will come back to you. Really honored to be part of the SAN Youth Organizations, Youth Empowerment, Philippines Chapter. Eat the kids in the future. Hi everyone, this is Carmela Lila, Mrs. Universe, New Zealand, 2019 and 2020. I am happily married for 20 years now and have been blessed with three wonderful kids. Outside work, I'd love to um, be part of my community, be it social, cultural or spiritual. It has always been my passion to help other people and create positive contribution not only to my adoptive country, New Zealand, but also across the globe. That is why I'm so excited to be part of this team, the Zen Youth Organization, to um, use my God-given talents to inspire the youth out there um, to feel more confidently beautiful and secure in hopes that they can actually achieve, achieve their dreams if they try and trust that their dreams are God's dream for them. Thank you so much and see you. God bless. And they're out. Hello guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I'm here again. Kevin Parungao, also known as Kuya Kebs. And uh, right now, I'm really, really, really excited to be part of ASEAN Youth Organization Empowerment Team here in the Philippines. So, just as you know, Kuya Kims is a youth advocate and um, I handle small groups and youth ministries. And I know this organization will help me to reach out and enhance my gifts and talents for all the youth in the Philippines and other countries. So, guys, see you soon. Bye-bye. Can I plant some seeds of positivity in your mind for a few minutes? Thank you. Where do you see yourself 5 to 10 years from now? Do something today that you will thank your future self for. My name is Jeremy of Jeremy Nation Events, creating inspired nations in action. I'm a nurse specialist based here in UK, and I'm an advocate of the overseas Filipino entrepreneurs. I am passionate in empowering positive mindset for the ASEAN Youth Organization. Always. Be great. Hi everyone, this is Kathy Bogas of Youth Empowerment Department and also the reigning queen of Mrs. Euro Philippines Universe. I am very happy and honored to be in a team of people who have the same passion as me, which is doing our very best with our knowledge and wisdom on helping the youth in the Philippines become the great leaders of our next generation. The whole team are working so hard and we are very excited in the future to slowly share with you all the project plans
needs that we are working on for the benefit of our youth in the Philippines. Thank you so much! Hello everyone! Warm greetings! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever part of the world you're watching from right now and welcome here at the ASEAN Youth Organization Youth Empowerment Department live streaming. So my name is Jeremy and I will be your host for tonight. And a little bit about myself, I am a nurse by profession here in the UK. I am the administrative head of the Youth Empowerment Department of the ASEAN Youth Organization. I am the founder of Germination Conference and Events. I'm a columnist for One Philippines News Magazine here in the UK. And I'm also an advocate of the Overseas Filipino Entrepreneurs. Yeah, and so welcome in this live streaming. We are not having a webinar, but we are having a live stream interview with our first batch of Youth Ambassadors. Yeah, and this live streaming is in partnership with the ASEAN Youth Organization, which is an ASEAN-approved nonprofit organization that spreads awareness of the ASEAN to over 200 million young people in Southeast Asia. And of course, we are uh, in partnership with um, our collaborators, which are our partners, yeah, and the ASEAN Youth Journal, yeah. Let's welcome them. And uh, we have Rotarac Alabang Madrigal Business Park, uh, Rotary Club of Alabang, and Rotary District 3830, yeah. And welcome, welcome. And of course, we encourage all of you to ask questions. There's no such thing as silly questions, you know. Uh, just write on the comment box if you have any questions you would like to ask during the interview. Uh, write it on the comment box of whichever social media platform you're watching watching this on. We are live streaming on the ASEAN Youth Organization uh, Facebook page and also on the ASEAN Youth Organization Youth Empowerment uh, Facebook page and also on YouTube channel which is under Germination. And of course, sharing is caring. We always say that one because... Uh, if you know anybody, any uh, co-fellow youth, any youth that you know, your friends who would like to make a difference and impact or mark in their community, in the whole country, in the whole world, please share this one to get inspired. Yeah, because we are introducing our first batch of ambassadors. And of course, I am actually, uh, it's my pleasure to be uh, with two of my co-hosts. Yeah, and I will introduce them now. I will bring them in. I have uh, two co-hosts for tonight. Yeah. So let me uh, bring them uh, one by one. Okay. So you ready for our co-hosts? <laughs> All right. For uh, the first one, let's see if uh, she's ready. Okay. But let me introduce my uh, very first co-host. Uh, let me bring her in. Uh, she is the CEO and founder of Change Coach Academy. And she's also a book author of What Size Is Your Bra? B-R-A, and it stands for something. All right, let's bring our first co-host. And she is also the head of a personality, develop, uh, personality development of uh, the youth empowerment of the ASEAN Youth Organization. All right. <music> Hello, Tita Billy. Welcome here. Welcome here again. Welcome Thank to you. our live Thank stream you. here in Youth, uh, I say in Youth Organization, Youth Empowerment Department. Thank Welcome. you, Jeremy. Thank you. And uh, more power to germination. And of course, more power to our ASEAN Youth Organization Philippine chapter. And as Jeremy said, I am Tita Billy. And for those who hasn't um, uh, known me yet, I am actually based in Sweden. However, I am a Philippine-born uh, New Zealand citizen. Now, 
let us take a look at this thing that says what size is your bra okay the bra stands for believing receiving achieving so that is all what it says now what is the book all about the book is all about to challenge the norm and disturb our comfort zone especially the women and you young ladies out there this is for us to break the glass ceiling of stereotyping ourselves and putting self biases on ourselves so that we can aim more higher and be successful in our own chosen career whatever it is we have a duty and that duty is to be active and productive in any endeavors we have in our lives we should create a real estate in our current position right now and that is for us all to shake and move everyone else to who we are and what we are not only as women not only as young ladies but also us Filipinos as a whole. Over to you, Jeremy. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tita Billy. That I like that one, challenging the norm, challenging the status quo. We have a lot of beliefs that was ingrained to us, and it's time for us to examine all those. Thank you very much. And uh, our next co-host, uh, let me bring her in. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Dr. Alex Reyes, who is the founder of Yes Tech Solutions. Yan. Dr. Alex, are you there? <laughs> I think she's having a problem with the uh, internet connection at the moment. But uh, yeah, so Dr. Alex will be joining us. Uh, she is, of course, a familiar face in the ASEAN Youth Organization uh, Facebook page. Uh, and uh, just a little while ago, I uh, was watching... Uh, her uh, this, there's a webinar about social entrepreneurship and gig economy and she was hosting that one so medyo napagod siguro yung internet ni, ano, ni Dr. Alex <laughs> ayan so yes yeah, so we'll wait for uh, Dr. Alex to, to come on but uh, she will be one of our uh, uh, co-hosts here ayan okay so Tita Billy to start with uh, let us um, uh, tell everyone about this uh the ambassadorship uh, program of the youth uh of the uh youth empowerment department of the AYO yeah but of course um my dear host okay the youth ambassadorship program of the ASEAN youth organization is all about bringing up and building up the best abilities of all our youths and this is from 15 years old to 25 years old because we do believe that every youth in the philippines are the walking ambassadors and they are the future leaders and so therefore the asean had put all their efforts as well as their energy and their resources to make sure that we are going to bring up and bring out all this youth out from the cave of their mm -hmm. own normalities and to actually propel them out there and say we are the youth ambassadors of the ASEAN youth organization wow uh at tita Bilis is open for uh all youths in the philippines as well do they have absolutely. to like absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely so our youth ambassadors please keep on putting this in your fb instagram TikTok, uh, whatever social media you are in, you are the millennials. Talk about it because you are our first, first batch ever, and we are so proud of you. Let's make this as a shining example of your dedication and commitment to be a partner of ASEAN Youth Organization. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for that. And let's see if uh, I could. Oh, uh, we lost uh, Dr. Alex. <laughs> So they have to undergo like a uh, like a workshop or a training to become an ambassador. So I believe yes. uh, let's let, let's let's bring in a uh, Dr. Alex. Let's see if she could uh, let's see. Yeah. Hello Dr. Alex. Hi there. <laughs> all right. Let's uh all right. So uh in order to become a youth ambassador, 
uh, obviously it's it's welcome it's open to all the youth as what you said between 15 to 25 years old yeah is that correct yes. Billy? Mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. of course we will uh, provide you will be provided with the necessary training and support that you need uh, in order to become a uh, full pledge you know uh, efficient and effective uh, youth ambassador for the ASEAN youth organization so Tell us briefly, uh, Tita Billy, what, um, when did they start their workshop, their training? Because this is our first batch, right? Um, uh, talk, t uh, give us a little bit of uh, insight what has happened for the past months uh, sure. for them to reach okay. this uh, ambassadorship. Okay. The f uh, it's actually a two parts. The first part is that leadership um, um, training. So we take all our youth into a three, uh, three weeks um intensive training where they are going to actually find the different facets of being a leader and being a leader is actually leading from the back not from the mm -hmm. front because yeah. if you learn to become a leader from the back what's going to happen is people at the front trusted you to actually push them forward and this is what we wanted our youth leaders get to have as a culture and as an attitude when they are going through our training. And for this, we are very, very, very proud of our first batch because they had shown so much maturity as well as they had shown so much commitment to make sure that the leadership program is applicable and livable at the same time they can also demonstrate it not only in our in their community but also in their schools and their peers that's the first batch that, that that's the first um series uh, um and then the second part is what we call the personality development program now there are a lot of people out there in the whole world they call themselves leaders but it seems like they are being followed as a leader because of fear, not because of respect, mm -hmm. and not because of what they do and what they say. They are being looked at only from a position aspect. From the personality development, we actually show them this youth ambassadors to learn how to become aware of their self-worth they to be able to get that self-esteem and to be able to have that self-confidence to project themselves as a good stable and ethical leader in their community wow that's really amazing so let's say uh that's like a full uh full package of uh, of training you know it's not just all about leadership but what you said uh tita billy you know uh you don't follow somebody out of fear only out of position but you know uh that that leader should uh possess also like the like the charisma you know that uh that people will follow them because they wanted to follow them because of what they actually do because they believe that these leaders can actually help them to become leaders themselves and then be empowered by this uh leader that they look up to and then eventually all of us will be leaders you know and uh and that, that will be a good good point for uh, an advantage for for a country or for a community that there is a lot of uh, leaders um, and of course there will be uh, some youth that will would like to be like them as well and this is the time that they have to uh, uh, pay pay things forward just like what we're doing to our ambassadors uh, you uh, uh, Kathy Valdez and Dr. Um, Alexi train them and in return they have to apply this one and uh, pay it forward by leading uh, other youth as well. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then uh, let's just welcome all uh, the people who are watching us right now. We have uh, Edeline Olifernes. Welcome here. Yeah. We have uh, oh our country director uh, Justin Ho Gusun. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome here. Thank you, Justin. We have Angel Amboy. Welcome here. We have Mimi Millie. Welcome. We have Angelica De Jesus. Yeah, welcome here. Jerks Karex Karini Exiha. Welcome, welcome, welcome here. And uh, we have Dan Lerongan. Welcome here. Welcome. 
And also we have uh, Daniel Joel Colarina. Hello po, watching from Daraga, Albay, Bicol. Yan. Wow. Uh, please don't just watch but share this live stream as well because uh, we need uh, more youth to actually uh, be inspired and um, to have that, uh, no, if they want to make a difference and make an impact and make a mark, you know, they should be watching this one. They should be in this live stream. And uh, Dan Lerongan, yeah, watching from Bukidnon, Northern Mindanao, Philippines. Wow, amazing. And we have uh, Jerks as well. Uh, watching from Quezon City. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah. So, um, let's, before we actually introduce our first batch of Youth Ambassadors, uh, let me just bring in uh, a virtual solo performer. So, we're not just, uh, you know, uh, having like an interview, uh, but we would like it to make it like a variety one. So let's have a little bit of uh, entertainment. Yeah. So let's bring our virtual performer in. Na 
was Kesha to Ralba. Very powerful and very uh, like a strong message of the song. Anak, no? <laughs> As what you said, uh, Tita Billy, no? Yung, uh, uh, we have to realize our self-worth. Yeah. Just like what you said earlier, uh, which is part of their training. Uh, we, we lost your audio, uh, Tita Billy. I think we lost your audio. Okay. Oh, yes, yan, absolutely. Yan. She's so great. <laughs> Tum- tumayo talaga yung balahibo ko. Wow. <laughs> I was just saying that this girl got so much potential. And this is what we have recognized from us Filipinos outside mm-hmm. of the Philippines. Is that we, us Filipinos outside of the Philippines, there's about 10 million and more Filipinos outside of the mm-hmm. Philippines. Come on, let's get together and actually pay forward and give back to the Philippines because the youth out there are crying out for our help, our support, and our attention. Let us help them realize their potential. That's all I could say. Yes, amazing. And now, let's go to the part wherein we bring in and introduce our first batch of our Youth Empowerment Youth Ambassadors. So let me just uh, Yay. show them, yeah? Yeah, so let us. Yeah, so let's just uh, show their pictures first. <laughs> Suspense, by <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, so we have uh, first one. We have uh, Maria Precious Gruspe. Then we have Dave Mariano Batara. Yeah, let's give him a applause. Yeah. Our first batch of uh, youth ambassadors. Yeah, Paloma Alvarez. Yeah. Yay. Then we have Mark Gargidi A. Nas. Yeah. We have Isabel Ruth Baltazar. Then we have Dion Sanchez. Then we have Liza Kagula. Yeah, and I think uh, that's that's everybody, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, have mm-hmm. I missed anybody? I think that's that. That's the whole. Yeah, that's, that's our that's first batch. It. First batch. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. So let's uh, actually bring them in in person this time. <laughs> 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 all right. Let's bring them all. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's all welcome the first batch of youth ambassadors. Yeah, and let's see if uh, Dr. Alice can uh, join us now as well. Let's see. Um, yes, unstable pa rin daw ang kanyang uh, internet at the moment. Yeah. So welcome, welcome, welcome here, everyone, for the first batch of uh, youth ambassadors. So. Welcome here. Welcome. Yeah. So Dr. Alex is still uh okay. Let's see. So Maybe Alex, later on she, she can uh, let's oh. We have echo again. <laughs> All right. We have echo again. So let's just uh, unmute our mic. Oh, sorry, mute your mics, and then, um, as what I've said earlier, just uh, introduce yourself briefly. You know, uh, how old are you? Where are you from? And then, um, uh, what educational background you are in now? And uh, tell us why. Just very briefly, you know, very quick and briefly. Why did you uh, join uh, the AYO uh, Youth Ambassador? Uh, let's uh, start with you, um, Mark. Yeah. 
Ayan, so hello po sa bawat isa. And po, uh, good day everyone. I'm Mark Gargidinas. You can call me Mark. Currently, senior high school graduate from Philippine Christian University. And now, planning to take up Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Marketing Management. And I'm 17 years old, turning 18 this coming July. And I'm from the home of Paroparo, which is the city of Dasmarinas. My reason why I joined the IO to have extra knowledge about leadership and to pursue my advocacy, which is to help youth and children. Wow, amazing, amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Yan. And next, uh, let's have... Sorry, just bear with me. Oh, okay. Let's have uh, Isabel Baltasar. Yan. Yes, hello, everyone. I hope you're all well and safe. So... Um, I am Isabel Ruth B. Baltazar, 17, and I am a grade and student now at Judge Juan Luna High School. Um, the reason why I joined um, AYO is because it can help me to, um, to, uh, to develop my personality and my social skills. That is all. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. And next one, we have... Uh... Paloma. Let's all welcome Paloma. Hello, Paloma. College student in Bulacan State University taking Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. I am a 20 years old teenager from the province of Bulacan. I joined the ASEAN Youth Organization to take part in serving our fellow youth. I would like to serve with full commitment and service and share my skills for the betterment of the youth community and, of course, our country. Thank you. Wow, amazing. Thank you, Paloma. Thank you. And next, uh, we have Liza. All right, Liza. Hello. Hi, guys. So, hi, I am Liza Nicole Kagula. Went to Wangan City. Um, currently, a four-year student from Western Mindanao State University. Um, the main reason why I joined AYO Ambassador is I want to influence other youth by using my voice and I want to enhance myself and create new opportunities. And um, being ambassador, you have the opportunity to involve with many different perks and that allowing you to develop um, your skills and have a new ones. And that's all. Wow, thank you very much, Liza. Wow. Thank you. And next we have uh, Dave. Hello, Dave. Hello, good evening, everyone. So my name is Dave Mariano Batara from Ilagan City, Isabela, a third year legal management student of Isabela State University, Kawayan City Campus. So I joined ASEAN Youth Organization because I believe that it will help me um, pursue my advocacies and push through with my advocacies and it will help me empower the youth and that's all. Thing. Wow, thank wow. you. Wow, my Isabelino pala ako kasama. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was born in Tumawini, Isabella. So there you go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last but not the least is we have Maria. Yeah, Maria. Yeah. Hello, Maria. Kindly introduce yourself and tell Maybe us why you joined. Hello. Tell us why you joined. AYO. Yes, AYO. Yeah, practice group yes, 20 years old. Currently taking up Bachelor of Fine Arts, major in Fashion Design. And the reason why I joined a CN Youth Organization is that I also wanted to inspire other youth that raising your voices and doing activism on the street is not bad because, you know what, we need to be heard. And aside from being, need to be heard, we need to practice our rights as a people. And there is nothing wrong from being activists. And they wanted to open up the youth, their minds and their perspective, why activism is very important. And that's the reason why I joined a CN Youth Organization. Thank you. Let me unmute myself. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> There's an uh, echo again. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Good, good. So, well done. Well done to all our first uh, batch of uh, youth ambassadors. 
And just to sum it up, you know, I was uh, while you were talking, I was actually writing down, you know, the reason why you joined uh, AYO. So it's 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 a mixture of uh, of of reasons, and you are a mixture of uh, of uh, personalities as well, which is really good. Um, some of you said that to open uh, the people's mind and uh, your voice to be heard, to inspire other youth as well, develop your personality, your leadership. Uh, serve uh, fellow youth as well, which is really good, and to be an influencer, yeah, which is very much the, the millennial, which is you guys, <laughs> and to be a um, ad, an advocate of whatever advocacy that you would like to promote, yeah. So that is really, you know, um, any any feedback, uh, Tita Billy, uh, is that what you are really uh, expecting them of uh, what, what they had said? <laughs> yes, actually, um, they seem to echo what Dr. Alex, um. Um, uh, Kathy Valdez, myself and yourself, and all the different um, mentors of the Youth Ambassadorship Program. And we are so, so, so proud of this first batch. Do you know what? I was saying to myself, if only I have this kind of youth during our time, diba? Right? During our time, it's kids, kids. This is what's happening. Long time ago, we are seen but not heard. Ganun. Ganon mm -hmm. tayo noon sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. But now, as what um, uh, Paloma and as what um, uh, 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 Precious said, is that they wanted their voice to be heard. And this is the time. And I am always propelling you guys to be mm -hmm. out there. So, yep, I echo and you echo our um, forethoughts in creating the Youth Ambassadorship Program. Exactly, and this is why uh, the youth, uh, the ASEAN Youth Organization, is existing as well to give voice. This is a platform to give voice to the youth as well to be heard. Yeah, because we know the you know young bloods, they got uh, a lot of energy. You got a lot of fresh ideas. You know, we have to challenge. Just what Tita Billy said earlier, we have to challenge the norm, challenge the status quo. That is very important. We have a lot of beliefs that was ingrained to us, which doesn't serve us anymore. It's time to let go of them and to develop new approach in life. Yeah, because uh, that's what you know. It's the digital information age now. You know, <laughs> so this is really, really good one. So uh, let's let's go to this part. You know, um, I always do this. You know, uh, I call this the quick fire questions. So just a little bit of icebreaker. Ayan, let's put them in the hot seat. <laughs> Not really. It's just uh, basically these quick fire questions. Is uh, I'm going to ask each of you questions and you will answer them by the first thing that will come into your mind so this is just a way of warming you up getting to know you more and of course having fun at what we do right now here in uh in our live stream okay are you ready for this guys ready all right all right so let's start with uh just bear with me with the names yeah <laughs> i might not be able to <laughs> I'll just call out your name and then ask this question. Okay. Mark, sleep or eat? Eat. Bro. Eat. Uh, yes. Dave, meat or vegetable? Meat. Bro. Meat. Liza, weird or crazy? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> apart from your face, which body part you look most in the mirror? Body part. Most in the mirror. Uh, um, Chan. <laughs> Chan. <laughs> Isabel, Isabel, what was the last thing that you Googled? Um, my project. Your project. All right. Yeah. Good, good. Paloma, uh, what was the lie that you recently told? Lie that you recently told. That I'm, it's okay. It's a that I'm not hungry. <laughs> You're not hungry, all right. <laughs> I wonder why that's always, you know, when I ask this question, that always comes up, that, you know, that you're not hungry. Anyway, okay, back to you, Mark. Dream or career? Mark, dream or career? Career. Career. Dave, make money or save money? Make money, bro. Amazing. Liza, or Liza, progress or perfection? Progress. Progress, amazing. Maria, opportunity or security? Maria, opportunity or security? 
We didn't hear Opportunity you. po. Opportunity amazing. Isabel. Okay. Isabel. Opportunity amazing. Okay. Amazing, amazing. Isabel, uh, focus on your strength or focus on your weakness? Focus on your strength. Amazing. Paloma, do what you're obligated to do or do what you want to do? Do what you want to do. Po. Wow, amazing. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that one. All right. <laughs> Tita Billy, would you like to ask them uh, questions now? Um, we prepared some set of questions uh, for you guys. So far away, Tita Billy. Yeah, I've got a question first of all from Dr. Alex. And what she says in here is, what inspires you to push hard in any endeavors that you're doing right now? All right. Who, who, who shall we ask that question? Because we can ask them uh, questions individually. In random. Okay, let's go for our uh, uh, Bulakenya, ba? That is Paloma. Paloma, yan. Oh, Batangas pala. I am from Bulacan po, ma'am. Ah, Bulacan. Ay, Bulacan. Yes. Tama nga pala. Na senior moment ako yes, pa. Yes Bulacan niya. <laughs> yes po, but the thing that makes me keep going po siguro is my dream. Not for myself, but mm. also for the people I love. It is very important po for me na I have to keep going to keep those mm -hmm. dreams on me because of my drive to achieve those dreams. But of course, it's not just for myself, but also for my family, for the people and love. And also to have a great benefit po in our country, in our community po. Ganun po. Wow, wow amazing, 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 amazing. Amazing, yeah. Any other Ikaw question, Tita Billy? Yes, oh, this is for... um. This is for your um, attorney day. What is the relevance and significance of becoming a youth ambassador to your life, your family, your peers, and your community? Who shall we ask that question, Tita Billy? Just uh... to, this is for attorney day. Oh, oh, attorney day. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. All right, so, po, so um, being an ambassador, po, siguro yung significance niya po in my family, in my peers, it, it enables me to, ano po, to show my true potential po, yung potential ko sa family ko, yung potential ko sa aking friends. Tapos na um now hone ko po yung leadership skills ko ganun po which is na i-demonstrate ko na ipapasa ko po siya sa mga tao na nasa paligid ko ganun po wow wow amazing galing. amazing oh, oh, okay talag ang gagaling nila talaga oh nga eh gagaling sumagot ano <laughs> oh, oh. oh pwedeng isa pa isa pang hirit pwede pa pero pwede. yeah yeah sige sige po sige okay, po okay, okay. Bili, far away okay okay far away ito naman uh, to um to mark Ready, Mark? Okay. What is a true, organic, and authentic youth ambassador? Ayan. Um, I think, um, una, syempre, may puso talaga sa mga bata. So, yun yung um, the number one rule talaga. Kasi uh, kahit bigyan yung, uh, kahit maging youth ambassador ang isang tao, once na wala si siyang puso on um, children, sa youth uh, na tumulong, uh, mawawala lang din yung parang saysay ng, um, uh, ng title niya. So parang yun yung number one na requirements as a youth ambassador is to have a uh, heart na tumulong sa mga bata at sa mga youth po. Yan. Wow. Exactly, exactly. Wow. You're okay. all well-trained. <laughs> oh, oh, well-trained. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Teka, teka, teka. Na na nakita ba niyo yung mga question namin kanina? Ang galing na, na mga answers nila eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, so ako naman siguro. Let me uh, okay, ask. Okay. Uh, so natanong na natin yung uh, tatlo ano. So I think my my question will be for uh, Isabel. Isabel, um, for the workshop, you know, what was your takeaway during the the workshops that you have attended? Na you're actually applying it in your life right now. Yeah, you had the workshop, right? So. 
Yes po. Um, ang takeaways ko po din is you, you find your success on yourself para naman yung success na, na, na nasa sa'yo, um, na-help mo yung, people, yung mga tao, lalo-lalo na yung youth, kasi yung success na nasa sa'yo, um, yun yung magiging hugutan mo ng lahas para makatulong sa tao kasi may pinanghuhugutan ka at alam mo yung success na, I mean, I'm <laughs> sorry. Yes. That's all. Yes. That's amazing. great. Wow, amazing. I'm exactly, exactly. Because oh. our success will be our story as well. Eh? And this is the, the what the people will see and this is what will inspire them and will spark something within within them as well. Na if if Isabel uh, was able to be successful in this blah, 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 I can do that as well. So that's the importance of uh, you know sharing your success and uh, celebrating our success for that, for that for that matter actually. So... And then, sino pa ba yes. hindi natin natanong? Si, si Liza, no? Hindi pa natin natanong. Si Liza, at saka si Precious. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. Sure yes. about the takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> And then, may different type of question. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> walang kapihan, walang kapihan. <laughs> okay. So, ano? Uh, Li- Liza. Liza ba o Liza? Liza po. Liza. Liza. So, how important is recognition to you? You know, in everything that you do. How important is recognition to you? So, para po sa akin is, um, um, ang recognition is parang, ano, oh, nagbibigay siya ng motivation sa akin to do a work. Mas ginaganahan akong mag-work kapag, um, um, mas ginaganahan akong mag-work kapag may inspiration ako or ganun. And then, yung, um, isa pa is yung parang, nag, uh, yung mind mo is parang, you're willing to, ay, may kailangan pala akong, um, Um, i-achieve the goal. So, so, ganun po. Yun po yung para sa akin. Thank wow, you. Amazing, amazing. Yan, gagaling talaga ng mga ano. <laughs> Oo, gagaling talaga nila. Talagang youth ambassador na talaga itong mga to. Talaga. Yes, yes, yes. Tsaka ano kasi, no? Uh, yung uh, recognition, it actually uh, inspires you to do more. ba diba? Biruin mo, if you are being recognized for what you do and then uh, y- they give you an award or something, uh, some sort of recognition, Uh, it motivates you, inspires you to do more, it drives you to do more. Diba? So yes, that's really so. the importance of that one. <laughs> Ayan. And uh, we have ano, uh, Maria Precious. Yan. Are you there, Maria Precious? Can you hear us? <laughs> Mukha na frozen yata siya. Ayan, Ayan. Maria. Mukha na frozen. Ayan. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Hello, Ayan. pa. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, Precious, my my question to you is uh what does it take to become a youth ambassador? You're a youth ambassador now. What does it take to become one? To become a youth ambassador. For me, okay. What does it take? For me aside from the leadership, I think that someone who is not afraid to speak up their voices. I think that leadership comes in all forms and we have and we possess it. Lahat ng tao merong kakayahan na maging isang pinuno. Pero hindi lahat merong kakayahan na magsalita at walang takot na sabihin kung ano ang nasa isipan nila. Dahil madalas, most of the time, ambassadors and leaders we have are afraid to voice out their opinions and afraid to speak their minds because they don't know what will happen to them. To them because even me i experienced to be red dog on negros occidental because of my activism by the way po um i am an environmental advocate and activist and the red dog po ako because of my opinions on our island and i just wanted to tell to all the people that when we say or when we speak our opinions it does not mean na kinokontra po natin o opposition po ta- But we are trying to oppose something better. And I think that that's what it takes. Bravery, confidence, and being able to be versatile enough to face all the challenges, to face all the criticism, despite other people are putting you down. So yun po, as an, as a youth, or as an ASEAN youth ambassador, you must have to be fit enough to understand other culture, perspective, and opinion in life. So, yun po, bukod sa leadership. Thank you. Wow, that is really amazing. Wow, that is amazing. Galing. 
That's what you call ano no? That's what you call um assertiveness. Not being aggressive as what as what uh, kasi that what your your action might be easily interpreted as aggressiveness but it's not really aggressiveness as what you uh, said in there it's more of uh, being assertive because you want the best in everything right we all deserve the best yun nga diba yung self worth natin kaya pinag-aaral kaya ang personality development is included sa workshop ninyo because you need to know your worth and every, all of us all of us irregardless irregardless we all deserve the best yan. and we just would like to challenge the authority yeah yeah Go on, go on, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and in addition yeah. po, it was silent protest naman po. We're just only holding papers at the streets. Pero hindi po yung huelga na asin na sumisigaw. Bali, we're silent protest lang po. Peaceful po yung protesta namin. That's great. Yes. Yes. That's great. That's great. That's great. Thank you po. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Tita Billy, you got anything to say? Ang gagaling nila sumagot. <laughs> Bigyan natin sila ng mga sigapong palakpakan. Yes, absolutely. You know what? It, it makes us so proud. Sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni, ni um, Miss Kathy, sabi niya, ang gagaling ng mga anak ko. Sabi niya, sabi ko, oy, nanay din kami ng mga yan. Sabi <laughs> namin. Kasi, <laughs> sabi, pero, um, to be honest, listening to each and every one of them, They already have their own platforms that they are advocating. And it is so impressive at this age that they are already contributing. And this is what we're trying to encourage as well as, try, uh, as, well as honing to all the youth in the Philippines. So our dear first batch of ambassadors, Keep on talking, keep on talking, keep on talking because your tita, your tita, uh, your tita, your nana, your nutshed lola, and, <laughs> and your kuya and tito, we are all here to support you, equip you to be the best, better version of yourselves as youth ambassadors of AYO Philippines. Yeah, amazing. So at this point, let us just uh, give a shout out to all those who are uh, watching us right now and uh, joining us. So, uh, Mary Ann Panoncio, welcome here. Thank you for being here with us. We have Babilu Diolas Dem Demon. Naid Pakilit. Yeah, Naid Pakilit si Ate Edna. Siya po yung nanay nung uh, kumanta kanina si Kesha Toralba. Yan. Thank you very much. Yeah. And we have uh, Alexi Reyes. <laughs> Dr. Alexi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And syempre yung ating uh, country president, Justin Hoguson. Uh, we have Angel uh, Amboy. Welcome here. And uh, let's just flash all those uh, comments as well. Uh, earlier... Uh, We have, ayan, uh, si uh, Maricon Viray. Hi, good evening. This is Maricon Viray from Mindanao State University, Marawi City. Ayan, welcome, welcome here. Ayan, and of course, si Ate Edna Pakilit watching here in Antipolo, Philippines. Ayan, Ate Edna, when, uh, when it's the right time for, I think it's still, uh, uh, Kesha is still very young, but uh, when she reaches 15, you know that there's a platform that she can actually be uh be trained as a leader herself yan to make a difference in her community yan and syempre si si Liza yan nandiyan si Liza thank you Liza <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh and then we we have blue light of all aces yan mega mega love shout out yan uh wow. from the philippines as well yan uh, mm -hmm. uh um uh, blue light you can actually uh check out uh ASEAN youth organization you know you got uh teenagers there as well Uh, who might uh, be interested in joining uh, uh, say a new organization to be an ambassador yan sharing your bahay host thank you very much <laughs> watching from Cavite City Philippines yan thank you very much din po uh, thank you uh, Ate Edna Pakilip yan so at this point let's have another ano icebreaker yan i call this ano uh, describe in one word yan describe in one word so i will just i will flash a picture and hopefully Hopefully you know this this personalities or these people. <laughs> My fear sometimes is uh they might uh, they might not, not recognize all these people, you know, that I will flash. I, I will flash and then uh describe in one word. Okay? Uh -huh. okay? So let's see. So we call this describe in one word. 
and uh okay all right ready so first one uh i think um i will call out names as well uh mark describe in one word can you see it on the screen yes but um do you do you recognize this one yeah so um i describe host Host, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, okay, that's fine. And then Dave, describe in one word. Um, talented. Po. Talented, yeah. Isabel, describe in one word. Idol. Idol, amazing, yeah. And then uh, Liza or Lisa, <laughs> uh, describe in one word. Uh, I'm sure you know this person. <laughs> Intelligent. Intelligent, yan. Yan ang ating yeah. ano, ang uh, nag, uh, nag innovate ng uh, communication all over yes, the world. Yes. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, Maria, Maria, describe in one word. Yan, ito. Can you see the picture? Maria, can you see the picture? Uh, describe in one word. Can you recognize him? Wala kang audio, wala kang audio. Not familiar po, sorry. Oh, okay, not familiar. Okay, I'm sure this one familiar oh, okay. ka sa kanya. Not familiar. <laughs> Describe in one word. <laughs> huh? Wait, um, feeling ko ang My hero. Your hero, My yeah, kind of course. Hero. Our... <laughs> amazing, amazing, yeah. amazing. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Dave. Uh, sorry, Mark. Mark, describe in one word. Describe in one word. Do, do you recognize him? Yeah. Scientist? Uh huh. Uh huh. Um... Einstein, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Dave, describe in one word. I hope you recognize this one. That's actually Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. That's wait, Beethoven. I can see the image, Papa. Ah, hindi mo makita? Okay. Um, ano po? Yes. Pwedeng talented na lang po ulit. <laughs> yes. Why not? Why yes. not? Absolutely. Why not? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Very talented, yeah. <laughs> And uh, Isabel, do you guys recognize this lady? Florence Nightingale, the one who actually started nursing in the whole world. Nursing in the world, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. All right, ito, ito. I'm sure you know this. Ito. How about this one? I don't know. What is that? S. Who is this one? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mother Teresa. <laughs> Mother Teresa. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's okay. change it, okay? Okay, describe in one word, huh? I will change it, okay? Okay, describe in one word. Oh, ayan. I'm sure kilala niyan. Kilala niyan. Gorgeous. 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 That's right. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And Liza, describe in one word. Ayan, sino yan? <laughs> hey, that's my mother. That's my mother. The queen mother. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Ayan. And um, Maria. Um, eto. Describe in one word. Eto. Ayan. Describe <laughs> <laughs> in one word. Eto. Ayan. 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 Huh? OMG. Huh? OMG. Oh, funny. <laughs> funny, yeah. Funny. Yes, funny. Mr. Bean, yeah. Who are you? Mr. Bean. <laughs> yes, he is funny. Yeah, Mr. All right. Uh, last but not the least, anybody can uh, mm. uh, describe her uh, in one word. Yeah. Anybody can. Last but not the least. Do you recognize her? Yes. You recognize Queen her. Mother also. Yeah. Okay, everyone. <laughs> she goes, everyone. Mother also. One word about <laughs> her. Starting from one, starting from Mark. Mark, what can you say about this lady? 
Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Dave. Are you there? I'm um, intelligent. Oh. Uh huh. Well done. Intelligent. Ah, uh, Isabel. Multi talented. Multi talented. Uh, Lisa. Liza. Liza. A gift from God. Gift from God. Amazing. Wow. And Maria. I think the connection of Maria is ano. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, oh no, wala na siya. Okay, so I hope guys you enjoy that one. You know, <laughs> how we're describing one word. Yes. If you notice, ano the the pictures that I have actually compiled and showed to you, they they are the people actually changed the world and made the difference in the world. Yeah, di ba sila like Einstein, Beethoven, Mark Zuckerberg. And uh, of course, our mentors, yan sila Tita Billy, sila Dr. Alex, and Kathy Valdez, yan. <laughs> wow. Okay, ako, ako naman, ako naman, ako naman. Pwede hear it, please. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, describe Kuya Jer- Jeremy in one word, starting oh with Mark. Oh my God. Mark. <laughs> Cutie. Oh, here you go. Oh, yeah. sige. <laughs> oh, sige. Liza. Cutie po. Cutie. Oh. Okay. Isabel. Serious. Successful po. There oh, you successful. go. So, so, um, precious. No, wala yung connection niya, I think. Pre- precious. One word for Kuya Jeremy. Jeremy. Entertaining po. Oh, wow. Okay, and lastly, lastly, Dave. Talented na lang po ulit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> talented ata si Dave. That is all good. right, That's all good. right. He's very talented. So, did you know that uh, that um uh, Kuya Jeremy is a nurse and entrepreneur? So, there you go. So, uh, wow. talagang multi-talented talaga si Kuya Jeremy. So, that is really great. So, over to you, dear host. Yes, yes. But There's a uh, sur- there's a uh, somebody who would like to give a message, okay? So let me just uh, switch this off the background music. But uh, this is a message for everyone, okay? Ready? Hi, ambassadors. We are happy to be able to welcome you as the respectable ambassador of the ASEAN Youth Organization Philippines. We really admire you from our heart. For your great skills and dedication. Therefore, we wanted you to be an important part of our organization. We are really happy to have you. All of our organization members are waiting to meet you. We welcome you once again in our organization and hope your contribution will help greatly in the success of the AYO. Feel free to contact any of us in the AYO at any time. We are always ready to help you. Wow. That is from our country president. Yes. Justin, yeah. And I hope he's still uh, watching right now. Magic <laughs> <laughs> yeah. one Yes, so we are really very proud of all of you and uh, you are the first batch and I believe uh come next month there will be uh, another batch of uh, youth ambassadors. Will be coming absolutely, in. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely, and and this time, our first batch of youth ambassadors are actually going to be the facilitators of the program. So get ready, dear leaders, you are. But don't worry, hindi kayo nag-iisa. Dr. Alex and myself and all um and uh, Miss Kathy. And everyone is going to be on the background. So background kami to push you and propel you to help you out. But then, you know what? As your nanai in this um, organization, as well as everyone else, we are very, very proud of you guys. And we believe, we believe in each and every one of you with your talent, with your charisma, as well as your commitment and determination we will bring in another success for the second batch of youth ambassadors. Wow, that is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, before we wrap this up, actually, there's just one question that uh, we would like to ask. It's uh, one question that all of you will answer. Yeah. So, ready na ba kayo dito? 
All right, good, 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 good. All right. So the question, all of you will uh, answer this question actually. So, if time and money is not a concern, what would you like to do? You know, because uh, as we all know, money can become uh, everybody's problem and time that we can be busy. But if that is not any of your concern, you got the time, you got the money, what would you like to do? Let's start with uh, uh, with Paloma this time. Kasi si Mark para tinauna din siya. <laughs> Let's start with Paloma this time. If time and money is not a concern for you, what would you like to do? Paloma. I want to travel around the world po and mm-hmm. join an organization for a service, mm-hmm. for community service. Mm-hmm. I want to be like those people that I watch in documentaries po where pupunta mm-hmm. po sila sa mga isolated places, tinutulungan po nila yung mga bata, nagtuturo po sila sa mga small communities and sinishare po nila yung knowledge nila, education sa iba't ibang uri ng tao around the globe. I want to be that person po to do service, to do public service and volunteerism po. Wow, that is amazing. Wow, galing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Service, yeah, service. That is really very important. Ah, uh, Maria, same question. If time and money is not a concern for you, what would you like to do? Can you hear me, uh, Maria? Well, I'll stop. Um, well, the first thing that I will do is to eat everything twice and then to share the food to those people who need it and also to cook the thing for the whole po. Kasi gusto ko, mad- madami akong napapansin na taong nagugutom. So I think na if money and time, hindi po yun na uh, ano, gusto ko na unlimited yung time at yung ano ko para maging... Maging convenient yung time ko para sa mga taong nangangailangan ng tulong na hindi nangangailangan ng pera o kahit anumang uri ng suporta, kundi yung purong pagmamahal lamang po at pagpapakita ng makataong serbisyo. Yun po. Wow, amazing. Love that, makataong serbisyo. <laughs> Alright, next. We have Liza. So, if time and money is not a problem, what would you like to do? Um, siguro po, may-ari ako ng isang foundation where A&I mm-hmm. help um, street children. Um, kasi, um, sa, para sa akin, no, importante talaga yung tumulong sa mga bata. Mm-hmm. Um, dito, um, um, every time na may mga um, um, community service kami, so parang gumagaan yung um, loob ko na nakakatulong sa ibang bata. No? Parang nagiging happy ako. So, ganun. So, uh, yun yung ano ko, kung if Money and time is wasn't an issue. Siguro may foundation na ko wherein na nagpapatakbo ako ng um um uh, foundation na tumutulong sa mga bata. That's all. Wow! Amazing! Amazing! So next natin si Isabel. Same question. If time and money is not an issue, what would you like to do? Well, um, I will share the word of God. Kasi sometimes yung ibang tao, nasasabi nila na late na. This time, hindi natin problema yung time, hindi natin problema yung money. Um, nasa nasa um, kagustuhan ko na ibahagi sa kanila yung salita ng Diyos. Kasi nga wala na akong iniintili na time and money. That is all. Wow. Amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you, Isabel. And then, Dave. Same question, please. Ayan, so yung i-divide ko po siya sa two portions. First po, first na sasagutin ko po is yung ano yung gagawin ko for myself. So, um, so yung gagawin ko muna for myself is I will eat everything din gaya ng sinabi ni, <laughs> ni Precious. Kasi um, mahilig talaga ako sa pagkain. So, I will eat everything and I will travel the world din. And for the second part naman is yung ano yung gagawin ko for other people. So first one kasi is I will use all the money that I have to help those who are in need especially the children the sick yung mga matatanda ganun po kasi sila po talaga yung pinakamalaki po sa ano po natin kasi 
sila po yung as in mga nangangailangan. So, magpro-provide po tayo ng schools for children, ng mga hospitals for the poor, ng uh, facilities for the elderly, ganun po. Tapos, we will travel the world and help those who are in need. Tapos, i-spend po natin yung advocacy natin. Tuturuan po natin yung mga tao, not just Um, we will not just give the people fish. Uh, anong gagawin natin is we will teach them how to fish. Ganun po. Para um, sooner or later po, hindi lang po sila magre-rely sa mga natatanggap nila and din kaya na rin po nilang ano po, kaya na rin po nilang mag-provide for themselves. So I will use all that the time and the money that I have to um, para ma-reach po yung mga ganong adopts. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Thank you for that. And last, uh, is uh, Mark still there? Yan. Yeah, Mark, yeah. What would you do? <laughs> um, I think um, nandito po. Um, uh, kasi po right now, hindi pa po ako financially freedom and time freedom. But I'm, I spend my life to um, mag, mag, mag-serve sa ating Panginoon. Which is, um, ako po ay parang um, may, uh, Sunday school teacher and of course uh, sa mga street uh, mga uh, children. So I think kung ako po ay magkakaroon ng financial freedom ay doon ko sila totally yun yung goal ko na maka, uh, makatulong sa mga um, sa mga bata na um, lalo na yung mga ha, lumaki po kasi ako ng um, bro uh, wala talaga hindi ko talaga na, na, nakasama yung um, yung parents uh, not parents so my father hindi ko po siya nakasama so ganun din po yung um, yung, yung mga nakakaranas nun doon ako maglalaan ng oras sa kanila and of course my family Um, dun, dun po kasi ako totally magpo-focus kasi um, di ba, tayo, nag-work tayo, nag, um, nagiging gusto natin maging successful para um, darating yung time na tayo makasama na na natin yung mga family natin. That's why once na ako magkaroon ng financial freedom and time freedom, I will spend my time on my family, on church, and of course sa mga children na nakaranas din na mga ay, hindi pag-alaga ng mga magulang. Wow! Amazing, amazing! Wow, really love your answers. Really love your answers, yeah. Very inspiring, very enlightening as well. And uh, Tita Billy, uh, anything you would like to... Any feedback from what you've heard or would like to echo back? Or... <laughs> you know what? Nakikinig ako sa bawat isa sa kanila. Mm-hmm. And listen, they are in the age between 15 to 25 and this mm-hmm. is already their aspiration and yes. this is already what they wanted to do. How mm-hmm. I'd wish we started earlier like this when we mm-hmm. were on your age. You know what? When we were on your age, kami lang yung me, myself, and I. Laging ganun kami. So, mm-hmm. individually, yes, we are successful. But what is success without sharing? What is success without making a difference to someone else's life? And what is success if you are not serving back to the community? Listening to you guys, this jogs up my memory now. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are very, very truly fortunate that we are with AYO Philippines. Each and every one of us, your mentors, this is what we keep on saying. We wanted to give back and pay forward what we had received and learned as we went along and reach our stage right now. So, at your very young age, saludo ako sa inyong lahat. You already got what it takes to be a great leaders and youth ambassadors, not only for AYO, but for the Philippines itself. So, hands on to you yes. sa lahat. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! To our first batch of uh, AYO ambassadors, yan. So uh, th- their common answer, no, talagang service, talagang nasa puso na nila yung servicio. Yes. Yung sa kapwa tao at saka yung uh, on the other side, syempre, uh, all of them would like to to eat and travel, which is of course um, uh, don't don't get me wrong, kasi um, Uh, talagang kailangan we have to our uh, we have to think about ourselves first because we cannot serve other people if we are not healthy ourselves if we are not happy so tama lang yun okay lang yun that you have to ano, sa aeroplano nga I always give this example sa aeroplano yes. if there's an emergency where do you put the oxygen first you don't put the oxygen first on the <laughs> on on somebody person. next to you you put it first sa yo 
so you can help the other people. Yon, yun ang ano nga, di ba? Yan ang yes. uh, uh, bago nating uh, approach in ano in uh, mm. in life. Yeah. I scratch your back, you scratch my back or you have to get better so I can be bet so I can better serve you. Yon, mm. ganun. So well done. So thank you very much to all our the first batch of youth ambassadors for the ASEAN Youth Organization Youth Empowerment Department. I would like to thank uh, Tita Billy for joining me here, for joining us here in this live stream and of course si Dr. Uh, Alexi Reyes. Yan, even though uh, hindi natin siya nakasama, <laughs> but uh, she is just uh, she is in the background as well. Yan. So and of course to uh, Cathy Valdez, to our the head of uh, Youth Empowerment Department and, and to our uh, country Uh, President Justin, who gave that uh, message to all of you. So, welcome everyone of uh, the first batch. Mark, Dave, Isabel, Lisa, Paloma, Maria, and Dion wasn't able to, uh, join, to, us. to join us. But these are our first batch of uh, youth ambassadors. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for them. Thank you, thank Yay! you very much. Yay! <laughs> So, that's it. That's it. We got uh, time for today. So, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, let's just see if there's any uh, anybody. Oh, we have Babilu as well. Uh, watching from Daman, Saudi Arabia. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. From Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. So, um, yes. So, that's it for, for today. And uh, we welcome you all. And um, this is what Tita Billy said. Um Your mentors, your ates, your kuyas, your titas, titos are behind you. We are always here. And of course, the in a wider perspective, the ASEAN Youth Organization is here uh, for all of us to serve each other. Yeah, and to uh, make a difference and impact and mark in our community, uh, to our country and globally. Why not? Why not? That is the purpose of this one. So always remember that we are all worth it we are we are all uh strong and powerful than we think we are and you are the example so of uh what we were trying to to say so thank you very much everyone for all those who uh been with us during this uh live interview uh, we have maria princess baler watching from das marina city cavite yeah thank you thank you for coming in All right, so thank you very much, everyone, and see you again on our next uh, webinar. Yan. So again, we welcome all our uh, uh, first batch of youth ambassadors. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe. All right, bye for now. See you all. Let's raise our dreams together